Welcome, December 10th through the 12th, weekend. This reading is for anyone asking themselves, what the fuck is going on this weekend? Here we go. We're showing up with the Queen of Wands. This is how we come into the weekend, our energy. For me, in and around love, relationships, spirituality, manifestation, we're dressed to play here. We're feeling confident. This is Leo energy anyway. You shake it. You see the lines here. You see the cat. Um, this is a fantastic energy to be into. Now it's just a Venus-Pluto uh, weekend. My God, there's so many things. Um, um, and this is what's blocking us now. So, Eight of Wands, a fantastic energy, especially for a Queen of Wands. I mean, what could a Queen of Wands not accomplish with Eight of Wands energy? But this is reversed. It's like not having energy, not having enthusiasm. This is like showing up all dressed up at the party, but not really having your heart into it. You know, she looks a little bit that way there. She's not too overly interested sitting on this throne, you know. You could kind of imagine her mind's away somewhere else in some kind of fantasy and i got a feeling that's what this eight of wands is it's uh this energy it's not productive because it's not really action uh, maybe causes the pulse to go up or something like that um because thinking about it um but it's not really accomplishing anything when you consider what the queen of wands would be capable of and uh, it could show, too, kind of just an over-exuberance uh, and um, perhaps maybe you're pulling yourself back and this is you kind of trying to tone it down, you know, because it's blocking you. Or you're just kind of out of whack. Like, if you would say maybe, well, normally, you know, I'm a lot more um, engaged and, and like Eight of Wands, I'm going for it, going at it with my Queen of Wands energy, but now you're not. Um, now, the advice from spirits to lovers, so that is Gemini, and that could mean a choice. But I think here being advice from spirit, that you could just look at that card, forget everything else. And just look at that, and how does that make you feel? I mean, if you're going, yuck, Dave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're, not, you're not down for relationships right now, I get it. But if you are, I mean, that's a pretty sweet image. And see what's beautiful here. I can't be cynical because this is advice from spirit. It's not any kind of warning or anything. It's just saying that we have this. You know, uh, it's, um, I, hopefully we know it, you know. Um, so even though we don't have this energy, you know, we have love. And with the outcome being justice, I think it's a big weekend. And um, something's kind of, at this Pluto Venus is so huge, you know. Now, it's not that huge a once-a-year thing, but the way it's going down and uh, stationing with Pluto, stationing just now direct, um, some bad things have happened personally, I'll tell you that. It could be a rough weekend, too, with these reversals. There's things not going your way, can't get it together, can't get out of your own way, you know. Um, but this is kind of like also focus on the highest octave, focus on love, what you really want, relationships. That's what's important here. So, and it's a little bit of the energy of like, because this is Leo, look at me, and that could be you. And maybe this, whatever's going on here energetically is moving you into a better place to focus on the other. Because, you know, you're a little quieter maybe. And, you know, uh, or around the house more even or something like that. And... This is karmic here, justice. I think um, out of this, you'll you feel if you're not already, you will. I'd say by the end of this week, or early next week, some sense of justice was served, um, and not that anyone was harmed or anything. Um, it's probably going to be in terms of this energy of letting something go. Um, you know, if you're needing to, to calm down, then you are probably trying too hard, trying to control things, getting worn out. Um, because, you know, it becomes almost like the Ten of Pentacles when it's the Eight of Pentacles. And also, it's just a lot of effort, like going for nothing. So it could be, again, t changing your energy inward or something like that. So the advice is look at relationships. And injustice is Libra's relationship uh, cards also look at the seventh house what's going on um 
Jupiter's getting ready to go into mine, go ripping through there. Um, and Neptune's going stationing direct. Now that's a big energy too, um, tearing away illusions for all of us. So, you know, let me know what you think, if that helps you make any sense of what the fuck is going on this weekend. I got to see something's coming out of it, juicy, something big, karmically, something, uh, you know, mm, finishing some process, getting up to some new level, getting, you know, someone used the term uh, being uh, your karma, you, you finished your karma, and I thought, my God, is that uh, possible? A little bit like this, what this could be to me, like, you know, uh, you finished the karma, you finished the hard sections of your life, you know? Maybe so. Maybe you had to kind of just settle down, and then find this person really and this love, um, and just settle right into it, and you know consider it like um, your just due justice. Thank you, guys.